And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two of Garen Poppy ranking up. We're actually going to try one uh, just little card change here before we move on to the other five uh, games. And, you know, we're probably going to change back, probably, but I want to try this out. So, like, Vanguard Redeemer is going to be good against the control decks, the kind of decks that I said that we're going to struggle against. Um, but we haven't really pulled it off, and it's, it's really difficult to pull off the Vanguard Redeemer. So instead, I want to try just Vanguard Sergeant. It's still an elite. That's going to be important for the, the two Penitent Squires. But the, the Sergeant is something you can play more proactively. You can just slam down Sergeant on round three or something else. You know, you don't have to really wait to try to have an ally die first. And then we'll get that four Demacia, and maybe a four Demacia could be really cool at, like, attacking uh, and stuff. So let's let's just go and try that out, you know. We, we may switch back, but that's what testing's all about. So let's go ahead and go back to ranked. We're going to go play five more games, and we'll try five games with Vanguard Sergeant here in our Garen Poppy deck. Dave, anybody have any idea of like when the, the big balance patch change may happen? That could happen soon? <laughs> we need to nerf Aloof. Aloof. Mike Rek'Sai. Man, I always lose to Lurkers. <laughs> lurkers are rough. Uh, Spirit's Refuge is good against Lurkers, that, that lifesteal, and getting the blockers, but, like, do I want to keep Poppy Refuge? Like, we gotta have earlier stuff. Ugh. I don't think we can just keep those two. Probably next week on Wednesday? Yeah, like, maybe after the, yeah, that'd be after the tournament, after the seasonal tournament. I just want them to... I don't, there's no, like, specific card that I really want them to nerf. I just kind of want them to shake up the metagame. You know, like, some of these um, cards that don't see... Like, especially champions that don't see as much play from before. Maybe buff them up. Maybe just, just other, like, random, like, epics and rares. Just that don't see any play. Buff them up. I just kind of want... You know, I want them to just kind of shake things up a little bit. There's no, like, real... Nerfs that I uh, really don't like. I think in this matchup, you just gotta trade. Just gotta keep trading. Yeah, Loping Telescope. Loping Telescope, Vandal City Mayor, just those Manifest cards, even the Conchologist. The Manifest are. It's so inexpensive for what you get for, like, just the, for. For gaining an, an additional card and card selection, the they really made the manifest. You know, putting it on those you know, two mana cards with Loping Telescope and Conchologist, and then three mana card with Mayor. Mayor's cost reduction at three mana. It really it feels like an effect that, like with the the Targon um, Allegiance card. How that was a, a four mana card to have some cost reduction with the invokes. It seems like a four mana effect. Like I, I could see Mayor being a four mana two three instead of a three mana two two. Bandle does have everything. They can, yeah, they can do everything. It's when they made Bilgewater. Bilgewater was the best region. When they made Targon, Targon was the best region. Sharima, Sharima was. Now Bandle, Bandle is. They, the new region, they definitely like making it the best region in the game. Instead of trying to balance... Like, wish they would maybe focus a little bit more on balancing the regions. But it is what it is. The Bandle has Poppy as like a great champion, but, but it doesn't have a lot of great champions. That's, that's like one thing that Bandle is kind of lacking a little bit besides Poppy. Poppy is absolutely incredible. So you know they have a Rek'Sai in hand. That's one of their cards. Because they got, from last attack, they got double buff. So I'm guessing they have that Bone Skewer and they're trying to decide whether or not to use Bone Skewer. Yeah, like that, that just has to be Bone Skewer, right? And they're really thinking about it. Alright, well, that's too bad. We really needed that Poppy. Discipline and steel. 
I haven't beat Lurkers in a long time. <laughs> like, like I said, we've not had very good luck against Lurkers. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have them waste their mana and not build on the board. So we we know that they just drew two lurkers. So we know we know that this card is that that three health lurker, the three mana lurker. And we know that's another lurker right there. That card. And then we know one of the first four is Rek'Sai. So basically the question is, do we try to trade and try to get Radiant Guardian in play or do we just not even worry about Radiant Guardian? The things are so large anyway. It's not like Radiant Guardian with the five toff. I turn it like so. You will not prevail. Okay. My work. Break their spirits and their swords. My plan here is like open attack. Rally. Rally? I mean, I guess what's the problem with playing Fort Amasia, right? I don't get to rally if we play Fort Amasia. But that's a lot of damage. What what can they even do against this? Like what how do they stop Fort Amasia from killing them? Is it possible? Cause they can only just play like one blocker. Okay, so I guess they, they play one blocker and then have Bone Skewer, and that takes out like two things. Oh, I guess they have they have Pike Spell. Oh, Pike Spell is kind of a problem. Maybe we just rally twice. Maybe just double rally. Yeah, or they, they could just ride. Yeah, that's true. Ride Negation. That's a good point. That's a good call there, Sherman. Good call. Have ride Negation on that. Alright, so they're at 8. Steel is yours. I guess I could just do this. 3, 6, 10. I fight for the fallen! Cool. They don't have a one drop. Very good. Awesome. We actually beat Lurkers. And we're four and two. Oh no, Thralls. Thralls was one of our losses earlier. We're going to need Poppies and Rallies. These are not poppies or rallies. I guess we keep Garen? Man, I don't know if I want to just keep a five mana, you, you know, like what, keep this? Ugh. I guess we have to send Garen back. So we definitely need to curve out. Curve out into poppy rally. Hey, Dark Fortress, doing, doing very good. We're doing something a little different. We're kind of playing, we're just playing one deck instead of many today and focusing on it, practicing it, and learning it, and then also hopefully continually ranking up. Hey, we actually have an elite for that card. So I go Bright Steel Protector, they go Avalanche. If I just attack, they get to play Lissandra. I think I'd rather force like an avalanche where then they don't get to Lissandra, so that, that just slows down their thralls for a round. And we can protect one thing. We'll protect. I don't know the thing about trackers; it dies to ice shard. Young witch doesn't. But then if they just play Lissandra here, I need to protect the tracker. So there's that way. Got that other hand. 
reach the king. Didn't let them play a thrall to start leveling that up. We still attack for four. You know, if, I, if we would have opened attack, it would have been for four. So we still attack for four, but they get the they get the two for one. Endless devouts. At least it's not a frozen thrall yet. Poppy. Uh, uh, I need to play Poppy, but then if I play Poppy and they just have a land, life's not great. Alright, we're gonna wait on you, Poppy. All right, I like it. I like that single combat. All right, team, adventure time. I wish we had a rally, but we'll take that single combat. I guess I have to attack now before. Before they play one of the focus spells that gets the countdowns on both of those. Now, I'm I'm considering Sharp Sight Poppy, then it buffs Garen. No. Let's see, so that'll be me attacking for seven with the Poppy. Got four Demacia. I don't know, I guess we could. Stand strong. The reason why, so the reason why I don't want to do this is because now they get to focus speed, get an eight eight and a five three, and then that's kind of bad. But I guess trading Poppy for an eight eight's not that bad. I guess. So if we would have sharp sight Poppy, we could have also like single combated with Garen on the 2-2 two -two afterwards to try to level up Garen, but then again they may have simply may simply frostbite the Garen instead. Wish we had one more mana where we could play all three of these next round. Yeah, why can't I play four Demacia and Golden Ages? Alright, level up Garen. I was planning on going Golden Ages on the Garen and Sharp Sight and killing the 8-8. That was my plan. But now they have this Lissandra that I 
kind of want to kill... Yeah, we need to kill Lissandra. So we're going to... Actually rally over and barrier this thing. So I just get to attack with it as well. I don't feel like I have to barrier Garen with having sharp sight. for free. It's not bad. So oh, they're going to make a new AD, right? This last card better not be Frostbite, but let's see. So they're gonna have four out of five for Watcher. Yeah, both of these will double. Yeah, both those are two thralls. Can't really pass, can I? I'm just like telling them I have judgment by passing. It's just so obvious, right? Because like the only the only real play for me is for De is this four Demacia. So not casting the four Demacia is definitely telling them something weird is up. Man, yeah, that card better not be. Better not be Frostbite. Better not be a Frostbite card. Yes! For the cause! Let's go, Garen. Alright, how about that? We defeated the Thralls. Poppy Ziggs. So this is the kind of deck that we are built to defeat. Now, that doesn't mean that just because you're built to defeat something, you win 100% of the times. But this is the kind of matchup we want to face with having three Radiant Guardians and all these different challengers for small units and stuff. Yeah, they run a decent amount of Frostbite with all the three sisters and sometimes they'll play a Flash Freeze or two. Chat asks, like, how much Frostbite did Thralls even run, and then Renumi says, Declam is 40 cards, so around 37 Frostbite cards. Reporting in. My shield is yours. They'll never see it coming. Wow. Alright, we block in there. They got past me. I just have this perfect curve where I don't get to Ranger's Resolve ever. Do you know the name Laurent? Do you know the name Laurent? Yeah, the hawk note is in the name Laurent. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. That's exactly what somebody who doesn't know what they're doing would say. around here somewhere today's the day I find that hero I can't just take all this damage can I no, I probably can't take 10 I kind of want to I probably can't I'll stop you so that puts me to 11 no this puts me to 12 but it's 
I, it's easier to kill the 5-4 than it is to kill the 4-5, as far as challenging is concerned. Because, uh, like, I'm thinking, what, next next round we have, like, Flight plus Resolve? Hmm. One for you, and one for you! Press on! Well, we can trade poppies. I don't believe that's a good trade for us. Usually, I, like, I basically always take the four mana card. But with us having four mana, four mana, five mana already in hand, we're taking the one mana. Oh, that is not nice. Oh, that is not nice. Okay, how are we doing on mana? So we'll have six mana next round. If I play this, we'll have six mana. If I don't play it, we'll have seven. Not really too much difference between six and seven. So might as well play it. Life steal wall. Really need a life steal like while we're attacking, right? Well, I really, yeah, it'd be nice to have like double life, you know, be able to Focus double those out. So. Sure you want to do this? No, I don't really want to do any of this. That was a really rough lock on my opponent. Starting a precious pet. Alright, well, we have a lot more cards in hand than they do. It could be a Noxian Fervor trying to kill Poppy. Welcome back, Broccoli Sniper. No, this one's a spell. Right, fervor there. Ziggs to Poppy. Looking very good for us now. Wasn't looking so good earlier, but now, you know, like they got kind of nothing, and I kind of have a lot of stuff. These swift wing flights are awesome. We have nine mana, enough mana for Garen plus Golden Ages. So this should be a win. That was a clutch Ranger's Resolve. But it's not over yet. Because that could make, like, I guess we have to play Garen. So, like, let's say that makes aloof travelers. I guess we can discard Garen. We'll just play this thing. Yeah, this this card's actually maybe better than Garen right now, but I definitely want to start here.
Yeah, work. Yeah, Young Witch does a lot of work for our deck because you can see there's just so many challengers, and that that plus one plus zero in the quick attack is really important. Um, so yeah, it really helps support so many different cards in our deck. But then even just attacking with like Poppy or Garen, sometimes you just want that quick attack also to just protect those because Poppy and Garen are champions that you need to be attacking with. All right, so they're just passing. That will do. G to the G, six and two. Garen Poppy looking good. Quest complete. On to the next one. All right, we have Sedjuani Garen. Why did I say Garen? I'm playing Garen. Sorry, Gangplank. <laughs> Got Garen on the mind. Sedjuani Gangplank. Ranger's Resolve could be good. So could Single Combat. And I like Garen. Like, I like all these cards, but obviously we need to curve out. We need to be playing things after Tracker. But this is like a Mega Rain style deck where Ranger's Resolve could really help out. We're going to mulligan single combat. That card's gone. I'm keeping Garen and Tracker. I think we keep Ranger's Resolve for this matchup, too. Let's, our deck's filled with units. Hopefully, let's draw some. Some that cost two or three mana. Okay, see? Rewarded. Um, pass. I don't really want to get parlayed. Like, I play tracker round one, they parlay the tracker round one. I don't want that to happen. Scorpy says Nami is like A tier, but not insane like SS tier. And that's. And it's because of that consistency that we were talking about with. Um, oh man, but now I won't have the two mana for single combat if I just curve Sergeant into Flight into Garen. Maybe we go Protector instead of Flight next round? So they can have two mana for. Them. It's like some some Nami games are like SS tier and some Nami games are like C tier. <laughs> Depends on what what happens with your deck. Yeah, Runeterra usually gets new expansions every three months, two months, every two months. Usually new expansions every two months, and that, that's how long like the seasons are for for ranked. I've got your back. Yeah, there's going to be another expansion this year. Yep. <clears throat> I think it's scheduled for November. I don't know. I, I remember in chat, somebody was saying that it may have been pushed back to like the beginning of December. That's not good. That's them, you know, helping out their champions. Steel is yours. I guess we just trade. Both champions are at three out of five. It's not good. My time has come. Things could be working out a little bit better than what they are. Keep up, keep up. We fight for those who cannot. Alright, good. I was worried about the, <clears throat> you know, six mana spell with plunder to kill my Garen. Oh, 
That's a good card. That is a good card, though. So this would take out the Crackshot Corsair and level up Garen. <clears throat> the Crackshot Corsair is very important to take out if they do have Sejuani. Okay. Resolve, let it resolve, let it resolve. The reason to play the warning shot is like because to leave man up because they did have something else. But hopefully it's just a unit. And not, you know, like another mega rain, that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Oh, another harpoon. Okay, well. Bad news. I needed that Garen, and they have such money. Only the strong survive. You own what you take. Wait. So you could just choose. Wait, I have never seen that before. They didn't. Huh. I've never seen that before. I don't have any current pl plans to play Draven Sion, but that is a deck that um, I am very comfortable playing. There is a there is a chance I would play play that again, but I just don't have any plans right now. Yeah, they didn't get the Sejuani play effect. That must it's got to be like a bug, right? Just, if they have anything that does Nexus damage to me, I'm going to lose anyway. That's how it is. You're covered. So I'm not, not trying to play around that. So if they do, we're done. Because then that frost bites everything. It's real vibe. Okay. Oh no. Man, I like having all sorts of other challengers, but I want to curve out a little bit better. This is a good Rangers Resolve matchup. They're a deck, you know, with the Vi, they're a deck filled with removal. And so being able to <clears throat> try to trade with a removal spell for one mana is very nice. Hmm. I would like something that costs three or less. I guess you cost three or less. Would discard Radiant Guardian. So very good aloof travelers. I 
have a lot of units. Not really too many sharp sights. I fight for the fallen. I'm doing this my way. I tried being polite. Trouble coming at ya. Guess that's worth it. I don't know. Maybe that's not worth it actually. No, it's probably not. I'm gonna need that to kill Ezreal or Shellfolk. We fight for those who cannot. Pokey sticks have been very good. Remove you know, removal plus card draw. So I did say that our our problem could be against control decks that out, out grind us. You're covered. You dropped something. I dropped everything. George! Yeah, these just too much card advantage. <clears throat> just too much card advantage. I play like Young Witch, they challenge Young Witch. I play Tracker, again, they can just challenge Justice the Tracker. For no one. Turn, you know, levels up Vi, turns it into five. I don't need a plan. Freeze. Good. No. No. Go back and challenge the Radiant Guardian. Because it wouldn't level up by challenging the Radiant Guardian. Can we get two points of damage across? Would have been really nice to have a rally right here. So if I if I quick attack the Garen, they you know throw away the the aloof travelers in front of the Garen, then their Vi kills my Radiant Guardian. And so they still have Vi alive, and then they just have Vi challenge Garen. Um, and so, like, both my Radiant Guardian and my Garen die. I guess we, well, we would have just have Barrier, but they probably have something for them. Okay, that's good. They definitely did the wrong one. They could have gave this minus one power, and so we would have got exact copies of it, so they both would have had minus one power. Much 
guard advantage. So much card advantage. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Yeah, this is this is a this is a tough matchup for us. You know, like this is not what we are built to defeat. You know, that going in, but they had a really good hand, and they they were emoting about that earlier too. They're telling us about their good hand. All right, so we got another three-two record. Um, again, those those kind of control decks that can outgrind us. That's going to be our, our tough matchup. Said that since the beginning. Um, that's still the case. Uh, just just a good hand opponent and, and vies were, were really important in there too how that that slowed down Vi slowed down our garen quite a bit you know so that's going to be part two for our garen poppy i think i like the sergeant i think i like those four demacias we got to do some cool stuff with the four demacias i think we'll probably keep that for the next one um but you know keep, keep on work on this this is uh you know hopefully we keep getting paired against the other poppy decks we really see how strong we are against the other poppy decks but those removal heavy decks because we're our decks filled with small units um and not as much card advantage and you know stuff like right you know like we don't have like the big top end stuff like you you can play you know more of these kind of like top end cards that will help you out in those kind of matchups you know cards like bright seal formation that are super hard to deal with that require lots and lots of cards to deal with um stuff like that but then that helps you that hurts you against a lot of the aggro decks and there's lots of aggro decks running around um, and so that, that's what we have our deck tuned for. All right, but that's going to be it for Garen Poppy Part 2. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, again, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know which one do you like more, Vanguard Sergeant or Vanguard Redeemer, and why. You know, let me know which one there. And just, of course, how you like this format with, with focusing on one deck for a day. All right, that's Part 2 of 4. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for Part 3.